Sometimes a civil 3D projection grading is exactly what you need. I know exactly how big I want this retention basin to be and I projection grade from the bottom up to the existing ground so that I can have my finished daylight line. I know exactly how big this house needs to be and I know what elevation it needs to be and all I need to do is a projection grading down to existing grade. In fact, this residential grading plan looks like it was made for civil 3D projection gradings. But to be honest, most work I have done in my 25 years is not like this lot. And a lot of grading is better done by gut feel or with the feature line tools. Has anybody ever told you to grade a basin prettier, they want to see the slopes varying, they don't want it to look like a bowl. Have you ever had a street or a sidewalk that you needed to grade from and then maybe a parking lot or a building that you need to grade from and you know the elevations of them but you need to have a landscaped area with some hills or a basin? In cases like that, you can do a really good job by using your innate intelligence as a civil engineering designer to guess where you want the bottom of, or the top, or the hills, or the swales of the landscaped area to be, and then grade by gut feel. Here's, here I've added what I think will be the bottom of a retention basin or pond. And here I've added, I'm adding a swale that will need to be controlled maybe up into a corner or up into a gulf or cove of the landscape area. The next thing I do is pepper this thing with slope labels probably three times as many as I have shown here at a very precise pre high precision haha <laughs> then I just use quick edit features and grip editing until I like the slopes and then put, get rid of most of them or freeze them and convert them to the slopes I really want to show and I've generally found that when the feature lines are correct, all grading anomalies go away. All the jaggies go away. Here's a grading plan I did in a landscaped area where I used that method. I have the feature lines highlighted and I'll add a bunch of precise slope labels the way that I mentioned in the paint drawing. I'm adding the first one. It will be a one point label. So I'll pick one point and I'll select a point on the slope. Now I need to go into the properties and choose a style that I've select that I've created that has a rise over the run precise for this exact purpose and that gives me this 504.1 and I'll copy it all over so we can see what kind of side slopes we have you can then I tweak the feature lines with these grips that can be kind of tedious and may take a half hour or so but I know that you can spend hours beating your head against projection gratings in some cases. So you do whatever seems right for the application.